It's that time of year again. Time for another Pixar movie. So let's see if the Pixar good movie streak continues. The laser is cause I like sci-fi. The dude is cause I am a rat guy. The 99 is cause I like Wayne Gretzky. That's why I'm lazy 99. Batman fan And I'm a Canadian man I do top ten lists And I eat ketchup chips Brave. Now when it comes to Pixar movies, all of them so far have been about guy characters. I mean, there have been good girl characters in it, but the main characters so far in every one of them until now has always been about a guy character. So when I saw the stuff for Brave, I was really excited for it. You know, I was really hoping that we would get a really good... Uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't even worried at all until I started seeing some of the reviews. And some people started saying, well, you know, it starts out strong, but then it gets extremely kiddy. I'm just like, <laughs> come on. This is Pixar we're talking about. Come on. So, then I watched another review, and he said it's kind of the same thing. I'm like, okay, starting to get a little worried. Then I started watching the movie. I started watching the movie Brave. Now, Brave is about this young girl it is of this Scottish clan who is reached the age where it's time for her to get a suitor, for men to compete for her hand in marriage. Now, she becomes very upset at this, that she, d she doesn't want to get married. She wants to be... She's a free spirit. She loves going out and shooting her bow and fighting with a sword. She's a tomboy through and through. I really like her character for the most part. You know, she's a fun, energetic character, and I really like her free-spiritedness. And then all the other Viking clans come, and they're pretty funny. I mean, her father is hilarious. I laughed at almost every one of his lines. Um, and the clans are very strange and very funny, and, you know, they're all their weird ways. And so I'm in the theater, I'm like, I'm enjoying this. This is great animation. The animation is really well. And then it hits that point. It hits that point that they were talking about in these other reviews. I'm just, oh, I see it now. I see it now. Because at the heart of the movie, the main conflict is really between this girl, who's, I can't remember her name, it's some weird Scottish name. Anyway, and her mother having, they're at odds with each other because she wants to be a free spirit and do what she wants and her mother is wanting to force her to get married. And so when they get into a big argument and they she runs away to try to find something to change to change her fate. I mean, hearing the words change the fate a lot in this movie. But I'll get to that in a sec. Anyway, and she makes a deal with this witch to do something to change her mom. To me, and she thinks to change her mom so her mom wouldn't want force her to get married. So that's what she's thinking, and then she does it, and this is the point where it switches tones and becomes really kitty is when the thing that she gave, the thing that, the spell that happens to her mother doesn't change her mind, it, it changes her into a bear. Uh, I mean, ah, uh, because it felt like, I'm just going to say it, it felt like Brother Bear. Of course, she didn't talk as a bear, but it, it just, I, I started to lose interest so fast. I'm like, no, 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 Pixar, bring me back up. I'm losing interest. 
And I did. I lost interest very quickly in this movie. See, I wanted, I wanted a character like this to be shooting things and to be doing this awesome, cool stuff. That's what I got from the trailer. The trailer is she's going out into the woods and a giant bear faces off against her. And she doesn't flinch and she fires an arrow at it. That, that looked interesting. And I don't know, I didn't really know what the story was going to be. And then I find out, oh, well, it's an arranged marriage sort of thing. That's what I see in the trailers. I'm like, well, that's all right. You know, I'm... I mean, I've seen that a lot in movies where there's been an arranged marriage and the person wasn't going to go through with it, but the parents force her, and then they don't have to go through with it in the end, uh, blah dee da But I'm like, oh, no, it's Pixar. They can, they can take it and make it interesting. And, you know, for the most part, they, they, they approach it in, in a new way in the beginning. And then when the mother turns into a bear, I'm just like, where is the focus of this film? Is it a focus on her and her freedom? Is it a focus on... It, it turns into a Freaky Friday movie. Really quickly. And I'm just... I was so confused. Why did it change this tone all of a sudden? And there's a lot of stuff in this movie that doesn't make sense, okay? Because I, I don't think you can see them that well in the poster, but there's these little blues things called the Wisps. And they're supposed to lead her to her fate or her destiny, or whatever. But, little does she know, there's no fate but what we make. And, oh wait, wrong movie. Anyway, so she follows, she, she follows these things, and that leads her right to this witch's house. She's like, oh, well, and so she gets the pie, or whatever it is, it, that turns her mother into a bear. But, so the whiffs wanted to change her mother into a bear? Was that really the only way her and her mother were going to sort things out with each other? With her mother getting turned into a bear, that was the only way? And I just, I didn't really find the mother interesting as a character. She was the least interesting of a character that I found. And so when she turned to a bear and a lot of the movie's focus switched on just her to her and her mother together, I felt lost. I felt like I only really cared about half of this movie. And that's... I was baffled. This was supposed to be Pixar's serious one. I think, you know, Cars 2 was their fun one. Now they're going back to a serious one. And then they're going to have a fun one with Monsters University later on. But this... I... I let me clarify that I don't dislike it. Exactly, because, you know, the characters are pretty funny. There's a lot of funny scenes in here. The animation is really well done. But I, I just expected so much more from this. I expected so much more. I didn't even... See, I didn't know what to expect, but as soon as I started watching the movie, I knew what to expect. And that's something I'm, I'm not used to with Pixar films. I'm used to not exactly knowing what's going to happen next or what to expect or how I'm going to feel by the end, but with this movie, I knew exactly what was going to happen next. I knew exactly how I was going to feel. And the only surprises were these jokes that they had, the weird jokes. Does this get broken? Does the Pixar good movie streak stop? Well, that depends. Hi! It's me! I'm back! Yeah, hey, how's it going, Chris? Way to come and, and put a little... Cheer, chip, something into this uh, little down review. Uh, well, fortunate, unfortunately, you, your ATM card wouldn't work, so you didn't get. So to I missed this. it. I missed Brave, but I'd like to say that uh, it was a good. No, I'm kidding. You can't <laughs> say that. I'd like to put in my two bits. So put the two bits in your coat and say uh, good on you. See ya. This has been another Chris's Moment. I think I am mostly disappointed with this movie because it's Pixar. Just like with Cars 2, I was a lot of people were really disappointed in Cars 2. I wasn't disappointed in Cars 2 because I got what I was expecting, but it was fun. This, it, while it's fun, and there's lots of funny stuff about it, um, its story isn't that well paced. 
I mean, it's paced well in the beginning, and then takes a left turn when her he, she turns her mother into a bear. Because then it gets all the embarrassing scenarios like, oh, now she realizes she's not wearing any clothes, trying to cover up. Oh, now she's like trying to be all dignified as a queen, but she's a bear. I didn't find that funny. And I die. Well, I am. Um, I don't really know what to say. It's a meh movie, and I never thought I'd say that about a Pixar movie being meh. Even though Cars 2, they weren't great, and Car Car the Cars movies, they're not great, I still said, you know, they're entertaining. I never called them meh. I called them, they're okay. And this is meh, and it's weird. I've never thought a picture like, let me just make sure, sure that you guys say that I'm not going to break this. And it's not because I have such an admiration for Pixar that I just don't want to break this till they make something really crappy. This isn't crappy. It's not a crappy movie. It's what I've heard from other re It's kind of forgettable. It doesn't make it bad. I mean, it has great animation, great characters, because I like all their characters, because a lot of them are really fun. I like, I like her little brothers. They crack me up every time. And I like her father, I like these other tribes, I like her as a character. But the, it's just the story I just don't think is as well paced or as messages thought through um, to make it an amazing Pixar movie. So, I have a lot of mixed feelings about this, but this I don't think this breaks the Pixar streak. Because while it's nothing great, it's not bad. And I think I'm just being a little more hard on it because I expected a lot from it and I didn't get as much as I wanted from this movie. As I say, the characters are pretty strong and thought through. The it's just that story. You know what? I wouldn't mind this to get a sequel. Because I would like to see what these characters would do in a different situation. Now that we got these other... this The marriage thing out of the way. What if... Put these characters in a different situation. I don't know what sort of situation to be. What if... I don't know. Maybe she was kidnapped by a rival country... And she had to escape and find her way out. Something like that. I don't know. I'm just spitballing off the top of my head. Um, but Brave, it's okay. Let me just say, guys, unless you are a Pixar fanatic like me, um, it's actually... Don't worry. Don't... You don't... Nobody needs to rush to see this movie. I mean, it's just okay. If you have kids... They'll like it. I think they'll like it fine. Um, and they'll enjoy it. But if you want, like, a more medieval movie that I think is good... I don't know, after watching this, I kind of want to... I, I want to see How to Train Your Dragon, I guess. I know. I just... It reminded me of that, and I think that's a better movie. So, I guess I better wrap up. So I'm giving Brave five and a half out of ten. It's okay. Maybe even slightly above average. It's just I just expected a lot more from this film. Maybe that's my fault. It it's it's just because Pixar has put the bar so high. And it's their own dang fault for doing so. Not that I blame them for making such great movies, but when something like this comes out and I expected a lot from it, and I didn't get all that I wanted. It's like ordering big at a restaurant, and you only get half of what you really ordered. Oh well. Remember, guys, I'm LazyD99, and if I don't like it, it's not worth it. See you around. The Pixar good movie streak is safe, but just barely. You guys, you Pixar, you better watch it. Be sure to check out more of my other videos on my channel, and wait for more coming soon.